The last three months of my life in ministry have been three of the most incredible months that I've ever experienced. God has moved in a mighty way in places like Ethiopia and Africa where it's been 19 years under communism and, and then the last seven years they've not had the opportunity to hold any public meetings and we've been able to go in there and preach the gospel and see thousands come to Christ. God opened a door. I preached to 300,000 people in four days, the largest crowds I've ever preached to in my life. That happened just at the end of March. And then at the beginning of March, I went to Dubai and the United Arab Emirates. No one would have even thought that we were able to get into uh, the Middle East and the Persian Gulf and a Muslim country and proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. And yet, God opened those doors. It was absolutely incredible. And then I've just returned from Brazil, where God has moved so mightily. Now, I, I want to say to you that all the things that have happened, uh, like in Brazil, I, I've never seen the kind of response in Brazil or anywhere in the world, as far as that goes, like I saw there. 25,000, over 25,000 people in one service responded, saying they wanted to put their faith and their trust in Jesus Christ and really follow Him. There was such a joy in my heart. But I want to say this to you. We could not have done it except that you stood with us. Many of you prayed for us. Others of you supported us. God used you, and you were a part of, of this great evangelistic harvest. God's doing something. God's opening the doors. But I can say to you, honestly and truly, that it's come because of prayer. In Ethiopia, for instance, there were 800 men. While I was preaching, there were 800 men under the stadium praying for us the whole time we were preaching. No wonder we had such huge crowds and God moved in such a mighty way. When I went to Brazil, I, I asked God to raise up 1,000 prayer warriors, intercessors, who would pray for us and stand with us that God would display His glory. I know of a couple of churches that each one had 300 people committed to pray. One church I know of had over 100 people committed to praying for us. There were small prayer groups. There were individuals. We have an email intercessory prayer list of over 650 people who prayed for us. And God, I am convinced, worked in these past three months. We've seen over 40,000 people make commitments to Jesus Christ. That's only because of what God has done. You've been a part of that. And I wanted to take these moments to say thank you. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for lifting us up. Please continue to pray for us. Please stand with us. God's opening doors. Without your prayer, without your support, we'll not be able to go through those doors. So I want to thank you for standing with us, and we're just believing God for the great and mighty things in the days to come.